Hey everybody, this is Phil from Hope Frontier and I'm so excited with me today as we look at our top five verses for salvation. Before we get into the day, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below and share this with your friends so they can get that confidence and hope and salvation in their hearts. So, number one today, 1 Corinthians 1.30. God has united you with Christ Jesus. For our benefit, God made him to be wisdom itself. Christ made us right with God. He made us pure and holy and freed us from sin. No matter what you think or what you have experienced, you are freed from the power of sin because you have Jesus in your life. He himself is wisdom and he has chosen to be with you and free you from all that stuff that ever held you back. So no matter what you've thought or what you've faced, you have to realize that you are free from that power that held you down in your life. Number two, this is Colossians 2 verses 13, 14. You were dead because of your sins and because your sinful nature was not cut away yet. Then God made you alive with Christ for he forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to our cross. Now, when we become new creations of Jesus, we still have the same bodies, right? And the same mind, right? But our spirit is different. So we have to believe that our old way of living is dead and it's no longer what has to be our future. We are set free from the habits, from the same way of thinking and all that junk that held us down in the past. We are completely alive and new in Jesus. And all those things that you did, it's gone and Jesus took it and crucified it on the cross and it is dead and buried. You are free from that stuff in your heart. All right, this is the next one. This is 1 John 5, 11 through 12. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son does not have life. So, if you in your heart have Jesus as your Savior, if you ask for forgiveness, if you want to do life with Him, you have to have the confidence that He is with you. It doesn't matter if you make another mistake. It doesn't matter if you sin again. What is important is your heart towards Him. As long as we willingly want to do life with Him, He is with us and He's going to give us that eternal life. So let me encourage you, you have the heart of Jesus in you when you had that forgiveness from Him and when you're willingly wanting that relationship with Him. This is the next one, Ephesians 2, verses 4 to 5. But God is so rich in mercy, and He loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, He gave us life when He raised Christ from the dead. It's only by God's grace that you've been saved. There's nothing we can do to earn God's salvation. It is a free gift that Jesus has given us. And that means we can never lose it by not being good enough for Him. All we have to do is continue to have that thankfulness in our heart and that willingness to do life with Him because salvation is a gift that God has given us and nothing can ever take a gift away from you. And this is the last one, Romans 10, 9-10. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. So, as long as we speak out our faith, God, you're amazing. God, you saved me. Thank you, God, you've forgiven me. I'm asking it for forgiveness. That's all we have to do to receive that salvation. We don't need special rites or rituals or some sort of incantation. It's as easy as opening your heart to Jesus, asking Him for forgiveness, and having Him come in your heart. Once you have that, that's all that you need to start that relationship with Him and to have that name written in the book of life. So let me just encourage you once again, if you have Jesus, nothing can take it away from you and you have a place in heaven where you'll be spending all eternity in goodness with Him.